So how's it working for you at Catcher? <laughs> um, it's getting there. Um, you know, I had to take a lot of reps back there and kind of just get comfortable with it again. Yeah. Um, but, you know, getting comfortable with the pitchers, um, kind of clean some stuff up. So, you know, I feel pretty good right now. You, you played there plenty in, in high school and, and even some here. How much of an adjustment was it to, to getting back behind there after basically being somewhere else for two years? Yeah, I mean, I've been a catcher my whole life. And coming in here sophomore year, kind of made the transition at first just to, you know, get in the lineup and you know, help his team win. And, um, this year, kind of going back to, to catcher, it's just been, you know, getting comfortable with it again. It's a, like a position you got to do every single day, you know. Um, not doing it so much last year kind of hurt me and sent me back a little bit. So um, just sticking with it every day and, you know, just doing something to get better with it every day has been, been huge. Along with that, you know, catching role comes with the leadership role as well. How much do you feel like this year take it up another notch, just with you being an upperclassman as well? Yeah, I mean, just adding to last year, you know, um, we had a pretty young group last year. So, I mean, kind of the leadership fell on, you know, the juniors who have, have been there before. And, you know, thankfully as a freshman, I was able to go to Omaha with, with those guys and, and learn from all of those seniors. So um, just taking things that they taught me and passing them along to these younger guys. And I do think in, in, as a catcher, you know, you have more vocal leadership on the field. So um, I think that'll be huge. How much motivation was the way in Omaha last year? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of always in the back of your mind. Um, you get all the way there and um, you just fall a game short. But, um, you know, it's in the past now. It's a totally different team. And, um, I think we all realize that. We recognize that. And, um, we're just looking to move forward. So. Dom, what's gained by practicing in the frigid temps with the sleep coming down? Um, <laughs> I mean, we're kind of used to it at this point. I mean, it's, it has been cold here pretty much every day we've been here. Um, the fall is pretty nice. It was pretty warm. But um, getting back here, first training day. <coughs> Uh, of course, it's cold. I would kind of expected that. So, I mean, it's a mental fortitude thing. I know Coach uses everything as a teachable moment. Is that is that one of them too? And how does that work? I mean, like you said, once you get out here, you start moving around. You know, it's you don't really have time to think about it. Um, and if you do, it's only going to hurt you. So, uh, at the end of the day, it's it's cold. It is what it is. Um, we have tasks to complete. We have things to get done, and we just got to get them done. So. Is it an advantage for Vanderbilt to play? You know, middle of February and weather like this. Yeah, I mean, I mean, usually we go to Arizona or LA or something like that. We play in the warm right off the bat. But I mean, this year Oklahoma State's coming here, so um, it's going to be cold. Um, we've been training it. I'd like to say that we're used to it. So I mean, yeah, I guess so. What things have you worked on as a hitter? Maybe what, if anything, will be different about your approach at the plate this year? Uh, for me, it's just staying more consistent mentally. Um, you know, kind of going through my first full season last year, um, playing all the way through. You know, there's a lot of games, a lot of at-bats, a lot of pitches that you see. And um, for me, just staying consistent and, and being locked in for, for every single pitch. Initially, when you look at this group, and, and I know it's so early in like Forbes is saying, but like, what do you character-wise see from this group early on? Yeah, I think we're a tough group. Um, again, I think we're a pretty young group. Um, but we did, you know, play as many games as you could last year. Um, so I think experience helps us a lot. And um, I think we all still have a little chip on our shoulder. and. Um, yeah, I, I just think we're a really tough group and, and we're a close-knit group. We love being with one another, so um, I think that's, that's very beneficial for us. How much does the, the way the season ended last year kind of leave a bitter taste? I mean, I know every year is a different year and no team is the same, but like, how much does that kind of motivate? Yeah, I mean, no team's the same, but um, I think most of our core group was there last year. You know, we, we felt that feeling of um, losing the last game. Um, but I mean, the only thing we can do at this point is focus ahead and take everything one day at a time. Um, that game is always going to be in the back of our minds. Um, the end of this year is always going to be in the front of our minds. But I mean, you can't really think about one or the other. Um, you kind of just got to stay in the middle. And like I said, focus on today, today's first day of training, and that's all the focus on. What does it mean for you guys to start off the season with another top ranked opponent, you know, at home instead of going to one of those tournaments? I mean, it's a good opportunity for us. Um, it's a good opportunity for, you know, fans to come out and see two good teams go at one another and um, yeah they're gonna be a good team we're gonna be a good team so um, it's, it's gonna be a good game so excited. Tom I talked to Tyler this week about the knee down receiving which I know he's really passionate and forward thinking on what's that been like and how much have you done it before if at all? Yeah I mean I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with it um, me and Coach Shoemaker have had conversations about you know different techniques and styles of catching um, and we've kind of found what works for me um, kind of played with a little bit of everything during the fall and you know some things stuck some things didn't so um, 
I mean, we found what works and we're kind of sticking to that right now. So. Is being able to be the everyday catcher a big reason why you came back this year? <laughs> no. I mean, I came back because, you know, it's, it's hard to leave this place. And um, like I said last year, it was kind of my first full year of playing, you know, college, SEC baseball. And um, it was such a great experience for me. And um, it was harder to say goodbye to this place than, you know, go play pro ball. So. To Max's question about catching style, is there anybody at the big league level whose style you might emulate? Um, we've been watching a lot of video of a bunch of different guys. Um, Yadier Molina. Um, we were watching Jacob Stallings earlier today. He was down here hitting, so we were watching some of those videos. But uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit of everybody. You guys are the preseason, so it seems like you're that kind of place every year. Part of the leadership aspect of this. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't think we really look at that. Um, I think the younger guys look at us, and you know, they pay attention to what we do. Um, you know, within our routines every single day, and they pick up on that stuff. Um, I think being preseason number two really doesn't mean much. It's kind of just a result of who's on the roster, not what they've done or what they're going to do. So. Um, yeah, I mean, we don't really talk about that stuff. We don't really look at that. So, does Clubs address that, or does he? Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't need to. We, we understand what it means. It means pretty much nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for Dom? Thanks, Dom.